Hey everyone, and welcome to another top 10 scratch game tutorial. No, <laughs> welcome to another top 10 scratch games video. I'm super excited because you guys seem to really like my last top 10 scratch games, so I thought I'd make another one. Just like last time, these are in no particular order, and all these games will be pinned in a comment down below. So if you want to check them out, then just click on those. But before we get into the episode, don't forget to hit the like button and consider subscribing for more scratch tutorials and videos like this one. But without Without further ado, let's just get right into this video. Okay, so the first game is called Avocado Pit and it is by Coder D6. This one is amazing because of its pixel art and it just has a super unique and fun gameplay style. Not really style, but just super fun gameplay. If we go ahead and click play, nice transition straight in. As you can see, we're this little cute avocado and we can shoot our seed, but once it's shot, we can't actually shoot again. We have to go pick it up. So it is super fun and we have to destroy all these fruits. Avocados will rule. And there we go, we got that guy. And there's tons of different enemies, like there's this apple here, that's kind of the base enemy. Then we have a strawberry that is, I think, slightly tougher. Yeah, it seems like when it gets mad, it goes fast, as you can see. There's tons of effects, nice polish. The animations are really good and the pixel art is just extremely pleasing to look at in a nice color palette as well. So here's another enemy, it's a carrot and it kind of burrows in the ground when you get too far, you saw that in the beginning. So you can see that this overall is a super fun game. Alright, let's get on to the next one. So here is a game called Top Down Survival Game and it is by Dilly D. It reminds me of a mix between Forger and Terraria. So when we first spawn in, you can see it's kind of a tile game and you can mine resources and there's even a little house here that you can go into by clicking. There's chests and a bed even, but you can go ahead and just mine trees and you can put these in your crafting bench and make them into things. So like here is some planks I just made. I'm going to split those using space. Okay, so I'm going to make a stick here. So now I'm going to split those planks and make that into a wooden sword. So you can see that there's the similar crafting mechanics to Minecraft so that is awesome and there's even a crafting guide by clicking on this question mark where you can go through all of the different crafting recipes by clicking here so as you can see while i'm clicking through here there's tons of crafting recipes okay so here's some iron oh there's a piggy i mine the pig chicken Bark. wait no that was a cow Bark. bush so you can see that there's tons of different items and it has a fully functioning inventory system and it has even stackable items and numbering on those which is always something that i can respect because that's hard <laughs> third on our list is ninja cat 3 platformer game by amy laser amy laser amy laser sorry if i said your name wrong but if we go ahead and play this this one's amazing because it's vector art and i love vector art if you watch my channel you know that's what i do for, on my channel but this one is insane. It's a really cool style. So this is a nice looking title screen. If we press play, there's a nice transition and look at these platformer mechanics. Oh man, it's just so smooth. When you go to the left, the camera kind of pans to the left and the right and there's this nice little tutorial area. You can talk to this little cat here and it kind of just tells you what to do. You have to get fish. This guy will tell you like some of the basics, but I've played through this game quite a few times, so I kind of know. There's a hidden fish over here. If you, if you, mm, I said, if you, I said, if you jump across, there you go. We have a hidden fish right there. So you can see that it goes to one out of 20 fish. I'm just going to go ahead and hop out here. And once we get into the open world, you can see that look how humongous this map is. So this is just like the little starting area. So I'm just going to walk down, go down this ladder. Okay, I'm on top over here. I'm gonna jump across to the well and oops. Well, that didn't go to plan. Jump Mm. and jump across to here and get that fish. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go inside this little area or whatever, and I'm gonna go up here because I see a fish. Oh yeah, but if we go into this other area, not only that, there's enemies, so I can attack these by swiping, and it's super cool. Swipe, swipe. Uh, okay, so there we go. Here's a crate you can push, so I'll push it over here so I can jump up onto this and get that fish. So you can see that there's tons of mechanics in this game, and the art is phenomenal. And I like the Japanese kind of bam- I like the bamboo-y style. That's not a word, but whatever. Fourth game is still loading, but it is called Blob RPG. This game is insane. It is an RPG, as the title suggests, but it is just like humongous, and I can't believe it's made in scratch. So if we go ahead and go full screen here and play it, first of all, there's a big long intro for this. So I'm gonna just skip that to let you guys watch it. Okay, so here's where it starts. It looks just like a game. 
blah, 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 blah. Okay, so here's where we actually get to start. You can see that first of all, we have an actual class system, which is super cool. And there's description for all the, like a warrior, a powerful melee warrior, master of weapons of war and capable of enduring much damage. There's a ranger and a magician, and they all have different attack power, defense, and magic. You can see that in the bottom left. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the warrior. And as you can see right off the bat, this just looks just like one of the old RPGs. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just start right into the world. You can see that we can press space to attack. We even have an inventory that's just like the old games. Let's go ahead into the plane. So this is called Anasha, Ansha, I don't know, Grasslands. So there's enemies, there's even tips and stuff you can see popping up. So I'm gonna go ahead and attack this guy and you can see, look at the polish right there. We get XP so we can even level up, but the polish on the attack is just so satisfying. There's the little flash, there's the spiky things when you hit it, and it, you can even like miss them, and there's different types of enemies. I'm just gonna keep exploring this grassland. <laughs> I'm halfway to leveling up. Ooh, a loot chest. <laughs> Let's get this. You obtained potion. That is always a good thing because I die a lot. You've obtained 500 gold. Oh my goodness, I'm rich. Oh, it blocked it. I'm super close to leveling up. I'm gonna get this guy. Oh yeah. Oh no, he hit me. And not only that, watch the health bar. When I get hit, it like turns yellow and shows the amount of damage and it, it's just so polished. Okay, so I need one more XP and I can level up. Oh no. Yes, look at that animation right there. That is a top quality animation. That's so cool. And now I become stronger because I leveled up. There's like boss fights in it. I just entered a cave. There's tons of enemies, but sadly I don't have time to play through all of it. So go check it out though. Fifth on our list, we have Purple Ninja by Vincraft. And this one is like probably the best platformer on Scratch just for the polish of it. So let's go ahead and click on this tutorial right here. You can see that these have insane animation insane graphics and it just looks so good look at that so as you can see when we start moving around here just look at the amount of polish and the camera movements the animations I mean this game looks like something that would go on a mobile app it just looks so cool you can see once we get farther enough the camera actually pans over here all the jumping particles the landing particles are just just out of this world you can see that I'm going over here I can wall jump even boom I'm gonna go down here look at that parallaxing through the window that just is awesome you can even hit with your sword or shoot shurikens so I'm gonna shoot shurikens at that wall there I'm gonna swipe it boom and now I can jump uh, up there I'm gonna duck, crouch under there. Oh yeah, this game is just insane. And then there's even a test level, which is just like, I'm guessing a test level. Sadly, there aren't very many levels in this game, but still, it is pretty cool. And of course, I had to include a game by The Chaotic, and it is called Roguelike Platformer, and this one is just really cool. It's just like a roguelike, exactly like the title suggests, but the pixel art is just, oh, it's so beautiful. So we can go ahead and hit crates. The polish is awesome their screen shake and your goal is to get to this door and press the down arrow to go through it of course as time goes on it gets more complicated because like here are spider webs that make you slower there's even spikes so you have to time it and go through them there's enemies like this there's a ghost Ooh, i stabbed it oh no i got damaged eh. i'm gonna go through here and get that coin and then go through here and try to get in there okay so i got some uh, healing potion and some coins but how do i get out of here Oops, I hit that thing. I'm gonna have to wait for this spike to go up and then I'm going to go over here. I really like the character here. It's a really nice, and I like this little floaty ghost. That's like a classic RPG thing. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get that. Oh, look how many healing potions I just got. And now I'm gonna go through the door and continue on. And now there's even people with swords. So there's tons of levels, but I'm gonna let you play through them. Next, we have a little bit of a smaller game, but extremely polished game. That is why it made it on this list. And it's also just really good. Vector art. It is called Mage. That is it by S'more Bra. I think I said that right. But if we go ahead and start, look at this. It's a top-down game where you have to fight these monsters. But what immediately makes it insanely cool is look at these particles. You can shoot them and I have have an XP bar where I can level up so the more I the more I get those guys I level up and right here look at this we can level up all of our stats so like I can level up power plus 10 damage now I do more damage so it's just like that infinite loop of leveling up and seeing how strong you can get but I love how I made it like a horde of enemies and so I leveled up again so I can do like fountain plus 50 mana that way I can use my wand more but this is just so cool I really like the art for the player it's one of the best top-down games I've seen on scratch for sure it's 
It's a super quick snappy game. You can dash around and dodge their attacks, but it just is so cool. I really like it. If I click see inside and I go to sprite 2 and click onto the costumes, you can see that there are quite a few different power-ups you can get. This list has quite a few platformers I know, but I found some really good platformers. This one is awesome. If we look, the name is Super Mike World by Toad Fan School, and the thumbnail is super nice. It's really bright and colorful. And then the intro to the title screen is awesome. I'm going to click start and choose easy mode, but here is one of the main reasons I chose this over any other platformer. This right here. Look at this level screen. Look at how smooth it is. It's just so awesome. Like, watch how the background changes color, and it kind of floats up and down, and it looks like you're rotating it. Also, watch this animation. Boom, that looks awesome. Then on top of that, the game itself is actually really good. We have health, we can jump up and down, I'm gonna jump and get those coins. It's a good platformer script, and there's even secret areas like this guy, you can get this big fat green coin. Oh yeah, I just got that. Now I'm gonna jump up here. This is a super cool game, I like it. Woo, I got the thingy. I'm gonna slide down here, and I'm gonna jump up there. Oh yeah, here's another secret gold coin, green coin, not gold. And here's some good coins back here. Oh yeah, here's some Goombas, where you can squish them. There's another green golden coin. I can't get it though. I like the parallaxing background. It looks nice and awesome. You can see that the camera's nice and smooth when we respawn, but most of all, this title screen is awesome. And as you can see, there's actually quite a few different levels. Four, to be exact. All right, so here we have a game called Gym Slash by Coder D6. I really like this one because of the pixel art and just it's kind of fun. It reminds me of Candy Crush. So if I go ahead and play this, you can see I, you have to connect these matching ones in a row, just like Candy Crush. And it is a super awesome idea. I really like this one, though. So I'm just going to match all these and you try to get as much score as you can. So it's a pretty simple concept, but the art of these gems look really nice. You can go vertical, horizontal. Look how much score I'm getting. Oh yeah. There was a 3-1 right there. Here's another 3-1. Oh yeah. So you can see that it's simple, but very nice and dare I say, polished. polished. And last but not least, the 10th and final game, which is by Coltrock. Coltrick. I don't actually know how to say that. I'm really sorry if I butchered that name because I probably did, but it is called Planet Clicker. I really like the thumbnail, but if we click on this, you can see that it is your classic clicker, except there's different types of planets you can get, like Mars, Venus, and Earth so far. So it's super cool. I like how the plus one goes randomly on the planet. That kind of looks cool instead of it always just going to your mouse pointer. But what really is cool about this one is the UI. You can see that. Look at the UI. It just looks really nice. Earth clicker times two click power. So I bought one and you can see that it just kind of looks really nice. And looking in the costume here, I have to say a big wow because this person made the earth and that can be very tedious and painful. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this top 10 list. Make sure to go check them out and give them the views and heart them and love them because the creators of all these games put some work into them. They are awesome. And also, if you enjoy this video, then hit the like button and consider subscribing. I would really appreciate that. Anyway, this has been Owen, and I am a trout.